So today we're gonna to be showing you how to clean a ductless blower wheel specifically. In some cases you need to clean the whole thing, but in this case we're going to focus on the blower wheel. In Florida especially, the blower wheels get quite dirty. You can clean them in place if you have a bib kit, but we find that often it makes more sense to remove and clean them. So the first thing we're gonna do is simply flip up the shroud. We're then going to remove the air filters from both sides of the air handler. We're then going to remove the front cover completely. Next, we're going to remove the directional vanes from the bottom, the horizontal vanes. Those are removed very easily with just a few tabs. You slide those tabs in this orientation. You slide them to the right, and then the horizontal vanes can easily be slid out. Those are often dirty also and can be cleaned. You can see in this case, this is a Mitsubishi ductless system. We have two of these horizontal vanes. Different manufacturers will vary slightly. We're going to now remove these three small plastic clips in order to expose the Phillips head screws in behind. In this model, there are three Phillips head screws, which we're going to remove. Once the screws are removed, then you can slide the bottom out and remove the face. In some cases, you may need to release some clips in the top. In general, you're going to just be pressing down on those in order to release or pressing up from the inside, depending on the model. Next, we're going to release the entire drain pan so that that way the drain pan assembly can be slid out of the way. Make sure that all electrical power is shut off before doing any of this. The drain pan can be released down. In most cases, that drain pan may have water in it, so you would make sure to remove any of that water before dropping the pan. Now you can see how dirty this blower wheel really is. In cases of heavy soil like this, this is partially why we like to remove it, to get it really clean. Next, you have to loosen this set screw. This is a Phillips head set screw that you will need to loosen, making sure that you generally remove it all the way or nearly all the way so that the blower wheel can be easily released. Next, you remove these screws on the left-hand side in order to allow the coil to slide forward so that you can get access to pull the blower wheel out. This part takes some finesse and gentleness but you can generally lift up and then towards you in order to pull the coil far enough out that the blower wheel can be accessed without needing to do any major surgery to the equipment. It's important if this work is being done inside that you have drop cloths in place and that you're protecting all surfaces. This is a garage, so it's not nearly so important. Now you simply take it outside and wash it off. We will often use uh, Viper cleaners such as Evap Plus uh, spray it on the blower wheel beforehand. O obviously, anytime you're cleaning off something like this blower wheel, you want to make sure you're not getting the dirt and grime onto the customer's driveway. In this case, we successfully cleaned the blower wheel using nothing but a garden hose. Now make sure to allow it to dry fully before reinstalling. Now the simplest thing to show is uh, everything that we just showed you only in reverse. <music> All right, so that is it. That is the completed cleaned blower wheel, everything back in place. And now it's just a matter of cleaning up the job site and getting out of here. Mm -hmm.